Have you done any psychedelics? Like what kind of psychedelics? Mushrooms, uh, ayahuasca, you know, because I, I, I know right now shroom psilocybin is something. I, to, I, I don't. I hate to say this. I, um, I'm in a medicine tribe. I come from a medicine tribe. My mother's side of the family, they native to this land. Mm. So you've done psilocybin, yeah. I'm, well, I don't know what the... Shrooms. Name. Mushrooms. Yeah, I grow my own mushroom. That's amazing. The Golden Teachers. The Golden Teachers a good shroom strain. And to be honest with you, it's the spiritual aspect of the mushroom. You know what's crazy is I've, I've been paying attention to you the last like few years, and I'm like, I have a feeling Gates is like woke in that space i just got that feeling i've been yeah i just never talked about it i've been it's such a powerful thing to like when i see people i hate to say this yeah. when i see people take mushrooms and their sugar mm -hmm. you're not respecting the, the spirit of the mushrooms the mushroom spirits like what well, the beautiful thing about mushrooms they heal what needs to be healed if a tree is dying under the under the i'm not trying to be all what they call it all nerdy. Right, right, nerdy. right. No, no, no. This is But Pachamama, Mother Earth. The Earth is our mother. She was here long before us. She'll be here long after we leave. Okay. The under the ground, the roots are connected like this. All of the trees are connected. If one tree over here is decaying, then the, what the mushrooms do is they'll grow in a line. You always see the mushrooms, they always grow in mm -hmm. a line from one tree to the other. They tap down into the root system and they bring energy from one tree to the other. That's how advanced that nature is. Nature is more advanced than we will ever be. That they, they communicate. Like I know this sounds weird, but the trees communicate. Listen. They communicate with one another. It's like if you know anything about harvesting flowers, Santa Maria. Like that's I hear people say weed. I don't like I like to address it by her. Her name, like mm -hmm. it's a spirit. Like marijuana is a spirit, Santa Maria, a Santa Maria spirit. When you harvesting, you can't harvest your flowers in the same room with the other flowers. They give off enzymes and the other flowers. How do they communicate like that? Mm. It's far more advanced than and we, we even know. We will ever understand. So every everything has an essence. And when I say native to this land, I'm talking about the Taino Indians. You know, it, like the Taino Indians is made up of everything. They made up of Choctaw, Cherokee, everything, a pet, everything, because they was taken from this land and dispersed all over the Caribbean during slavery. So that's why you got Taino Indians in Jamaica, all the way around the Caribbean to Puerto Rico. So that's why, like I said, a Taino, like they native. Yeah, I feel like the way plants communicate, the way ants communicate. I'm just saying that because if somebody listening, they're gonna be like, "You said Native American, you know." And well, you were very I thought specific. he said his mother was Puerto, Rican, you know, and all that. So I just, yeah, I'm I, just giving a little tidbit in case because they love people love to critique me for some reason. Yeah, I've gotten super high and just thought, how the fuck do trees talk to each other? How do ants talk to each other? Like, there's like a a frequency. It's like a electromagnetic yeah. pulsation. Mm -hmm. It's electric. That's why your phone don't work around trees. That's wild. That's real. Uh, have you ever had like a really therapeutic, because, uh, you know, sometimes uh, for people who don't know, if you do shrooms, they got a, a cert, they got certain levels of doses, right? There's, there's micro dosing and then there's the hero's dose, which is what people do when they just want to like work through 30 years of shit in one sitting. Have you ever had like a therapeutic moment on shrooms? I'm a big shroom guy, so yes, sir. Yeah, was it something? Because I know I know a few people who've like literally had life changing experiences. Yes, sir. You've had that experience. Yes, sir. Do you remember like what it was, or because some I don't think people understand. I think people who don't do it think it's like you take shrooms and you hallucinate or you see see things that aren't there. Which it's more of like <laughs> this. It it, it, it pulls it, back it, what's it, already it, there, it, right? It your neural paths. Mm. It may have. The, the beautiful thing about the body is if we've experienced trauma, our bodies will suppress that trauma so we won't have to keep reliving it. It won't have to hurt us. What happens is you may, you may be exhibiting a behavior that stems from a traumatic past. So once you sit 
and really respect the mushrooms and sit with them and ask yourself, why am I like this? Why did, why do I do this? Mm. Why do I do that? And it'll be revealed to you. Everything, all of the answers are within. Nothing external could ever add value. Have you ever done it's the, within. This, have, this I was going to say, have you ever, it, I was, have you ever smoked the toad as Mike Tyson would call it? Bufo. The DMT? Talking about Bufo? I don't know what Bufo is. That's the toad. Yeah. Well, there's two different ways. There's two different fr- toads. Toad medicine. One is Bufo. That's where you smoke the, the when they rub his back. Right. That's and what I'm then, talking about. That's Bufo. Where you freebase it. And then the other one where you clean your lymphatic system is Combocito. Mm. Combo. And they take, well, it's the still the same poison, but they put it on you. They burn you. And put it on your skin. That sounds crazy. I haven't heard of that. Have you done? A, have you? Have you tried that? Like I said, I, I'm in a medicine tribe. That's fire, man. I'm so scared to try it because I hear you're kind of gone for like, you know, fifteen. Bufo? Yeah, like you hit you it and then you're just you just kind of. I'm not saying that I ever tried it, but I'm gonna say you're gonna be gone for like ten minutes, but it's gonna feel like you've been gone for years. I've heard that. I feel like you've been gone for a long time, but you only been gone for ten minutes. But that's just those are just starter kits like mm. ayahuasca and excuse excuse me, madre ayahuasca. You got to be respectful when you're speaking to these spirits that yep. they're strong as medicines that come from the earth. But they just start up starting kits to me. They just let you know what's already in you. You can reach these same levels through controlled breathing Mm. and meditation. You can reach these levels. You can unlock the DMT that's naturally produced in your body through breathing. I didn't know that. Yeah, so all of these feelings that we're trying to feel, we can unlock. They're there. Yeah, there's just certain uh, things that kind of help. I guess jump start. You it, just, yeah, it's like a jump start, like a yeah. starter kit. It helps you understand and realize what's already there. Yeah, ayahuasca is something. I I know you got to have like a shaman and, you know, probably prepare with your diet before you do something like that. Yeah, it's a dieta. Like, a, well, that's a special diet. Yeah. All liquids, no food. You don't want any dense energy. You want to vibrate at the highest frequency possible. And when you hold space, you hold in a sacred space, a ceremony. Um, a lot of people don't talk about it. I mean, I don't care to really talk about it because when you hear about it, you hear all these, yeah, man, it was a trip. It's not a trip. Like, mm. it's not a drug. This is it's a, not something you do recreationally. Nah, this is right. medicine. Yeah. I think that's the difference. I think, like, even with shrooms, which is obviously a lot more mild than ayahuasca, but... It's like you're in t- like when you take it, what's your intent? Because that's probably what you're gonna get out of it. Yeah, you gotta. It's better when you do anything. You you should state your intentions. You should do be intentional with everything you do. Even that's drinking fair. water. Mm-hmm. I mean, water is living. I'm not trying to sound weird, but it's a spirit. It's living. It's life. Water is life. Without it, what are we? Sound, no, you're I right. Sound, hey, I water sound, is literally I know life. I sound like one of those. You know, eccentric people right now. There's nothing wrong with being an eccentric guy, man. I'm not trying to sound like that. I just, what did you you, you you kinda pulled this out of me. Nah if, man, I'm if I'm, it was if it was talking about some music or some shit, then yeah, but it's like we kinda you kinda pulled this out of me and it's just like coming out. Cause I usually don't have these conversations, especially in interviews. Right, right, right. That's me. Yeah. Hexatized with the ghost out. I stay blind at the goat route. My windows tinted like dark skin. My car sends like a smoke out. Swag mean, but I'm joked out. She can't ride if it don't poke out in my head alone. So hers can't be short unless it's natural when it's flowed out. Yeah, cause I feel that in the world of fake you brought real back. Yeah, they used to call me Young Sweet Jones and I'm still that. Yeah, cause that's trill shit and that's my roof. So I stay down. Uh, shout out all my niggas from Texas out in Cape Town. That was taken personal. It's just my perspective. It might not be the way you see things, but it's just the way that I see things. 